Well, the back and forth continues in a case here in Maryland that's gained international attention. There's a court hearing set for tomorrow for Heyman Lee's family to fight the way that Adnan Syed's charges were dropped. That's right. Syed served more than two decades in prison for the murder of Lee, but was released after authorities found new DNA evidence. Alexis Davila is live with why Lee's brother is still pushing against this. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning. Well, the court hearing is scheduled to be tomorrow morning in Annapolis, but back in October, there was a virtual hearing, and that led to Adnan Syed's prison release and his charges dropped. Heyman Lee's brother, who is young Lee, says that he was not properly informed about that hearing prior and says that the court violated his rights to do so. In the motion that he filed is a transcript of the virtual hearing, and young Lee says he found out about the hearing after it happened, but argues he should have been present. Now he is calling for a redo of that hearing. New Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown told us back in January his office filed a report regarding Lee's motion of appeal. Brown says he does not side with one party over the other, but says he defends victims' rights. And under Maryland law, uh, there is um, opportunities for victims to appear before judges uh, at certain critical points uh, in the criminal justice process. Uh, so that's what we're defending, the integrity of, of the victim, uh, victim's uh, rights. Lee's attorney says that young Lee had the right to not only be at that October hearing, but two others as well. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ.